hi guys my name is Forbes so today we are quickly going to show you how to connect a Digimac DGM 350 solar inverter um, 230 volts AC output um, Digimac uh, 350 watt inverter solar inverter um, we're going to be using a B39 or 55A inch um, solar battery uh, calcium plus solar battery okay guys so we have unboxed everything uh, this is the digimac 350 solar inverter digimac 350 watt solar inverter and uh, the harwa solar maintenance free battery 55 ah or b13 ba39 so we're quickly going to show you how to uh, use this um, especially now in summer here in south africa and obviously i think all over africa as well um we we are in the hottest period the hottest season and because of that we mainly use fans or or would also want light during load shading because there's load shading in south africa and in other parts of africa as well so this is how we're going to quickly show you how to connect this so guys we i'm going to quickly um show you how to connect the positive cable and the negative cable the positive cable which is red you connect it to the red side of the terminal on the battery and then um, the negative cable you connect it to the black side of the battery which is black so there we've got our first connection and, and then if you come here to to the inverter you can now see that the inverter is on but obviously it's on the charge side so we need to put it on the inverter side which is this side and then you can see now it's burning so if you look here it shows that our battery is 12 volt and it's putting out it's turning out um 200 and let me see 220 to 230 volts which is a very healthy battery so let's let me quickly take you to the next phase because we have load shading i'm going to just demonstrate with the light how this works with the light so i'm going to connect the light here i'm going to connect the light here and then switch on the lights so there we go we've got uh, the light running with uh, this 350 watt inverter and the 55 h solar battery because it's hot i'm actually going to connect the fan onto the inverter and there i've got my 40 watt inverter i mean 40 watt fan running off the inverter so it's the 40 watts it's the 40 watt fan and the light running off this inverter with a 55 ah solar battery So if you look here at this part of the uh, of the, the the inverter, low is usually used when you are charging your battery. Because this, apparently, the beauty about this particular inverter is it's both an inverter and a charger as well. So, like in this instance, it's on the inverter side because we're using the light and the fan. And when we need to recharge the bat the battery, the solar battery, in case we do not it works with both solar battery or car battery so in case we do not have a solar panel you can use the same inverter to recharge the uh, the solar battery or the car battery so this right here will be used you just connect this into the mains when electricity is back and then you you, you press this plug to low and then you press this to to charge and then it will start charging the battery but then right now because we are using it as an inverter we are just going to keep it on high so that it runs everything smoothly so now i take you to my uh, second phase of using obviously the same inverter the same solar battery and other things in the house so apparently this inverter again can work with you charging your phone your cell phone can work with uh, the router the wi-fi router and it can also work with 
with the TV. So for instance, I'll show you now how to connect the next phase. So you you obviously connect your your adapter and there you can see now the phone is charging and the the Wi-Fi is on and the TV is on. So we're running all these things off this inverter and that battery. Um, just give me a second so that I can connect my light again. So here I'm connecting the, that light. So we've got the light working. We've got the phone charging. We've got the phone charging. We've got the router working. And on this side, we've got the fan running. So the fan is running. The lights is on. The phone is charging. Let me just con connect it again so that you can really see that it's charging. The phone is charging and the Wi-Fi router is working at the same time. Same with the, with the TV. So there you, you can actually go to, to YouTube and show you that all the things that we've mentioned here are actually working. So guys, there we go. We've got the TV working. The TV is on. Let me just get into that channel. The TV is working. The fan is running. The light is on. The phone is charging. And the Wi-Fi is running. So there's the TV working and everything running. So it's especially when we when it comes to load shading, when you've got this two hour load shading, three hour load shading, this kit here will run perfectly for you. Uh, for today, this is it. Uh, I'll come again on the next video showing you how to use your solar equipment with different kind uh, size inverters. But on this kind of situation, I would recommend mainly using a 500 watt inverter compared to this 350 watt inverter. A 500 watt inverter will turn out more power and work out much better than this one. And obviously, a 1000 watt inverter, even better. So for now, it's a it's cheers. Goodbye, uh, catch up on the next video.